Well, the weather's on the change today. Oh, yeah, it's not big. It's raining, so I'm under the bandstand in Kefili. That's where they filmed Dr. Who. Well, I'm going to see it anyway. And uh, I'm off down there, across to coffee. Let's listen to TNT Tech News today. Got to have your tag. Usually I do this from outside the pub, but it is pouring down. Absolutely pouring down Met Office, a frost and ice warning. Maybe that's for tonight. Can't quite see it for now. Anyway, back in the uphill. Getting ready to go to Taft's well. And look at that. Excellent clarity. Local brew. Well, next valley over. Those Otley boys. This is Otley Owen at 4%. And I know I've had it before, but I can't for the life of me remember it. And this is 149, yep, yeah, another camera voucher. Bitter, citrusy, refreshing, cutting through my cold. If I didn't give an A minus before, I should have. Easily an A minus. Thank you, Otley. I believe in IPA, although at 3.8%. India Pale Ale? No, I'm not sure. It's Ducas IPA from the Caledonian Brewery. So that makes it Scottish. Um, who shall we thank for the weak IPA? Mr. Osborne, maybe? Although I'm not against weak beers or less strong beers, because if I drink too much, I go to sleep. Anyway. Nice and clear. Although that doesn't mean anything anyway. Well, it's certainly well hopped. Could do with a touch more body. It's good. It's a B plus. And welcome to Taft's Well, so called because of the river Taff, and it has a well, and the derivation of the term Taffy, a term to describe a Welsh person, well, South Walian. And there we are, Fagin's Ale and Shop House. And we're a bit early, nine minutes early. That's buses for you, I never trust them. Okay, uh, last time I came down, came? came down here, I was early and it was open, so it's worth a try. Paul Nelson by Tiny Rebel. Ignore the glass. 4.8% alcohol by volume. And stopped. And wow. That'll do for me. That's an A minus. There's no one in that chair. I'm with um, Big Carl at the moment, and we're beer reviewing. And what is Big Carl drinking? Carl's drinking one of them. Which is? <laughs> it's called a Dark Star Hophead. No, Dark Star is a really Hophead beer. So, no, it says on the thing of Dark Star Hophead. Light and hoppy. And? And. It's all right, nice and the other plate. Carl doesn't like Tiny Rebel. Anyway, um, this is Silver Dollar by Time Bank. 4.9% alcohol by volume. 
And look at the fire, lovely. Yeah, you suggested we try this one out, Tim, and I said, oh, it's very nice, it doesn't taste very soft. Oh, that's very nice. I don't give that an A minus, that is nice and hoppy. Looks a bit cloudy. <laughs> that is very nice, actually. Easily an A minus. I, re I reckon he's over the top here, he's been paid. Hats off to Big Carl. <laughs> I'm sure with a young colleague, I'm not allowed to video him, but he's drinking Coors Light. Well, that's not Coors Light. Isn't it? No. What's that? I've changed. You're on Carling, which is Canadian. Carling Extra Coors. Cool. No, oh, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Try anyway. Try again. I don't know who that guy is, but... That is Tim. He's drinking <laughs> Carling Extra Coors. Cool. Yeah, right. Tim, what do you think about it? This is Natter Jack. It's not? Yes, it is, look. No, it's not. It's off. That's off. That one be there in the corner. Natter Jack by Frog Island at 4.8%. The Tiny Rebel is off. Right. This is going to be one of those decades. <laughs> So have you got Tim on the internet now? Oh, that's not bad. Have a try. That's at least a B plus. I knew it was going to be a B plus. It could be a B uh, At least a B plus. It could be a B plus plus. That's not bad. Want some? No. Go on. I don't want to spoil my Carly. That's probably nice in my green clothes. He doesn't want to spoil that. I ain't going to give that a B plus plus. Which is four stars on Untapped. Tim nice. thinks his is good as well.